Are you drowning in chaotic notes and also losing track of your important information? Now imagine you could use a simple free tool like OneNote to help you organize all your information nicely in one place. Here's how to do that. Here's how you can organize it using the table feature. Okay, now you can organize and can uh, create a table, something like this, right? This is kind of like your action to plan tables like this. So I'm going to show you how to use the, the very useful table features right over here. Now, very simple, one way to create table is just go here, insert, and then you got table just like you're using Excel or, or Word, right? If you want a three by three, then you can select this and you can have the three by three table. Yeah. Now the problem is a lot of time when we do not know how many columns and, and how many rows you want. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to build it from simple. Let me just delete it. Right. Let's say for example, right over here, I can just type action. Right. What you can do is just press tab. Yeah. So use the, the, the tab button to add column. Okay. Then you can have this uh, person in charge, that, and then you got this deadline, and then cap, and then remarks. Just like exactly like the top. Okay, so now you want to add another row. What you can do is basically press uh, control enter. Yeah, control and enter. Control enter. Yeah or control return, you, you will get this, right? Extra rows. So you will want like three rows and what you can do is control enter, enter. Now, of course you can go over here, right click and then go to tables and then to insert row below and above. You can do that as well, but uh, I prefer to use the keyboard. It's so much faster that way. Yeah. Now then you can, okay, bold this like you're using in Excel. Now, in order to, to shape this, what you can do is just right click over here, go to tables, and then find the shading. Choose one shading you like, okay? Then you can shade that, yeah? Okay, so now you've done the formatting, okay? So what you can do is that you have this uh, class, let's say task A, K task B, and task C, yeah. So then, what you can do? Let's say here. Let me just put in person in charge is uh, uh, Ali, Sean, or Jay, or something like that, right? Now, what you can do is here. You can see that you get all the tasks, and uh, you can come over here, and then I can do a alternate shift and up. So you can see that I can scroll up, right? Move this task C up and down, right? Alternate shift up or down. So that's how you can organize your information in the table easily, right? Inside one node. Now, other than that, you can track the status. Like here, you can see that you get a like planning phase, right? In progress phase. So for me, it's like I just control one, right? And this is on the planning phase, okay? Then if, I, if this is moving to the in progress, I just remove and then can put in a control two. Now, this is using the OneNote tag. If you want to know more about how to do all these status, just leave a comment right below and I will create another video to, to show you, especially to use this for project management. Okay, now there's another new features that is just add in into the OneNote for the table, which is the merge cells. So if I want to merge these four column all together, what I can do is just come over here, table, and find merge cells. You see here? All right. So I can put in something like uh, notes over here. Okay. Now, be careful, if you do like enter, you will come out okay, with another row. If you want to do that, you just shift enter and then you can type your notes right over here. Yeah? 
just shift enter okay then if you want to remove this of course you just highlight this and then cable delete row all right very simple okay now i like to use table to organize the inside one node even though it's like an unlimited canvas you can uh, organize it whatever way you want all right so if i want to select this uh, table okay sorry i can just select this table and i'm gonna move it all around yeah so here i can just move it around or move it over here as what you like so you can create as many table as you want now if you want to create something like you don't want to see the table but you want to organize it nicely you can create the table let's say i just insert a table okay two by two and then i can change yeah the borders all right hide the borders okay a b So I can have C here, D. You just don't see the borders, but it's actually a table, okay? Nicely so that it's all aligned, your packs, everything. Yeah. Now you can even insert a picture or multiple photos inside over here. Other than that, you can also like copy the whole table. Let me try, right? And put it here and then control V paste the whole table inside the table. Yeah, just like this. Okay, let me show you here. Easy for you to see. You can see here a table inside the table. Now, I hope this short video will help you to go and explore how you can organize your notes inside uh, Microsoft OneNote. If you have any question, do leave a comment right below. And if you like this type of productivity video, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. By the way, I'm Andrew. I'll see you real soon in my next video.